holiday comes true. Step aboard the Palace on Wheels. You begin your royal journey in Delhi, the capital of India. At Delhi Cantonment Station, tourists are welcomed in typical Indian traditional style. The Palace on Wheels is outward bound to Rajasthan, the land of kings and princes. An extraordinary train for extraordinary people. A train beyond compare with historic charm and modern conveniences exclusively for you. A week of splendor where you are king and the palace on wheels your royal coach. Built originally at the command of Indian royalty, the palace on wheels has been modernized to include present day comforts. Centrally air conditioned, soothing four channel music, a separate pantry and lounge in each coach. Comfortable coupes with the privacy of attached bathrooms with shower. Two speciality restaurants, Maharaja and Maharani, serving mouth-watering Indian, continental and Chinese cuisine. A well-stocked bar in the lounge and friendly, smiling attendants serving you round the clock. Jaipur, the pink city, greets you next dawn. Discover the history of the city that dates back to 1727. Visit the Hava Mahal, a strikingly designed monument. The Amir Palace. Climb atop a bedecked elephant to reach the palace complex through a steep path. The complex is a perfect example of Mughal architecture and interior decoration in a Rajput setting with intricate stone carving, delicate mirror work, stucco, painted and carved dados. After a bit of shopping for Jaipur trinkets, enjoy an exotic lunch at the Rambag Palace Hotel. Visit the Jantar Mantar, one of Jai Singh's five remarkable observatories. Instruments constructed with stone, precisely and scientifically designed to present the high points of medieval Indian astronomy. The City Palace, a historical landmark. The complex has a museum with a wide collection of royal articles. While you relax in luxury, the palace on wheels moves on. The desert opens up. The massive sandstone Jaisalmer fort and its 99 bastions. The fort has stood sentinel since 1156 AD. Yet, notice the lattice work. The cupolas, the balconies, the beauty and strength that make Rajasthan breathtaking. Behold the miles of golden sand dunes called Sun, like murmuring strands of desert melodies. Ride the camel, the ship of the desert. sand under the sky.
enjoy a cultural evening in a desert resort with sumptuous Rajasthani delicacies. Jodhpur salutes you, the second largest city in Rajasthan, built by Rao Jodha, the capital of Marwar since 1459 AD. Climb the steep hill on which is perched the fort Mehrangar. It houses some of the most intricately adorned palaces, with exquisitely carved panels and latticed windows. Moti Mahal, Pool Mahal, Sheesh Mahal, and a collection of palanquins, howdahs, miniatures, and furniture. Spend a silent moment at the Jaswant Thada, the royal cenotaphs, built in 1899, the stately Umaid Bhavan Palace, an enormous and impressive sandstone structure built in mid-20th century. It is now a five-star hotel. And the Palace on Wheels rolls on. Can any other cruise give you more? The rest of the world today is all five-star hotels set somewhere in Sydney or New York or in Bangkok. But to be on a five-star hotel traveling through the history of India is an experience that you cannot get any other way. Now, your royal coach, the Palace on Wheels, moves on to Savai Madhupur. Savai Madhupur, a haven of peace and quiet rest. You can wander about the sprawling fort dating back to 994 AD. But beware, the royal tiger roars nearby in the Ranthambore National Park. Safe from the tigers, the palace on wheels moves on. Seeing five tigers, I think it's going to be one of the most unforgettable trips I've ever taken. But when you catch this train, it's, it's your refuge, and at the end of each day's sightseeing, you come back and it feels like home. While you relax in luxury, the palace on wheels moves on. Chittorgarh. The capital of Mewar from the 7th century AD to 1567. Truly historic. The Chittorgarh Fort. The Victory Tower. Evoking the heroic deeds of Rajput warriors. On to Udaipur. Udaipur. Maharana Uday Singh's kingdom, its forts, lakes, palaces, cast a magical spell. The Lake Palace Hotel, once the summer residence of Mewar royalty, now serving you an exotic lunch. Next stop, the City Palace. Built in 1725, the monument stands on a hill and is surrounded by the crenellated walls. The peacock courtyard, balcony of the sun and a beautiful ceramic work are the main attractions of this complex. The crystal gallery, emblems of the wonder that is India, where you enjoy your evening tea. The journey through Rajasthan has been breathtaking. There have been particular highlights. I think the main highlight was the, the camel ride for me and the forts and the palaces out of this world. This train, it is magnificent. The service has been tremendous. 
Uh, you need to look out the window, you can see India passing by. Now, Bharatpur beckons you to listen to bird song. This sanctuary shelters more than 300 species of feathered friends. After the Bharatpur Bird Sanctuary, the Palace on Wheels takes you to Fatehpur Sikri, the city of victory, built by Akbar during the last quarter of the 15th century. Come to Agra, the Agra Fort, the seat of power for three Mughal reigns from Akbar to Jahangir to Shah Jahan. The Taj Mahal, the immortal symbol of immortal love. Breathe your vows once more beneath the midday sun at Agra, in the presence of a monument of marbled love, built by Shah Jahan for his beloved queen Mumtaz. The Taj Mahal is one of the seven wonders of the world. Alas, the wonderful week is over. If only such pleasure trips could last forever. As you breakfast on the Palace on Wheels, the train has already reached Delhi Cantonment Station. You step down, carrying with you souvenirs and enchanting memories. You were treated like a king in the land of kings, a traveling king in your very own Palace on Wheels. The Palace on Wheels, run by the Rajasthan Tourism Development Corporation. Make your dream holiday come true. A royal odyssey awaits you. Come, step aboard. Alison Reed.